Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduced newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia Cars. This is my third time, with my fifth time making this introduction, but I'm here today at 2023 Seoul Mobility Show where there are just massive and countless brand new cars making their debut here at this mobility show for the first time in the world. And behind me is 2024 Sonata Full Change. Looks like full change, right? But no, it's another facelift or him that calls it product enhancement model. And let me show you and give you a full review, in-depth review with on this car. And time permitting, I am definitely capturing Hyundai Envision 74 or Hyundai Envision Chiship Sa as the designer very himself calls it or want to call it want to call it. Without further ado, let's get into it. It was just a matter of days ago that Hyundai released the official photo of the Sonata PE model. And this right here is fully loaded model as we can see with the Sonata N line and it's got the M badge right there. Unless Hyundai changed the name of the color, it looks like the ultimate red metallic on this Sonata. And on my right, right here, is a regular Sonata. Well, let me just step back a little bit, try to see if there is any difference or I should say any significant difference between the two. So what do you think? Well, yes, there is a difference that I can point because I have the car right back to back. So that silver garnish right there that kind of resembles an aspect the grill that we always had on the ends is definitely standing out on the end line versus it doesn't really stand out all that much on a regular Sonata. However, Sonata also has it. I think this Sonata actually has the least noticeable exterior difference when it comes to the end line versus a regular one thus far. And that's including Elantra as well as Kona and all end line models that we had thus far. If you look into the detail, the end line actually looks gorgeous as well. It has the good old five spoke wheels, a turbine, a turbine looking like wheels. I have to assume that is a cast wheel. I doubt that it's forged. However, the technology has been getting better and better. So despite this being a cast wheel, I doubt that it's going to be super light. I'm um, excuse me, I doubt that it's going to be super heavy. You see, that's the blinker operation on this Sonata N line. And I have the DRL lit up. Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, I'm at a uh, mobility show. So the hype around these brand new cars are just crazy. Everybody wants to get a hold of it. And I've been waiting and waiting. And I can't wait no more. I think this is the best time I can get the shots. So some of the profile and front look at the same time. This is the seamless horizon lamp at work. Once again, starting with the Staria, Granger, Kona, and now Sonata, need to just to name a few, we are seeing this Hyundai look getting completed. Honestly, when I posted the official photos of Sonata on my community, a lot of people actually did mention that the seamless horizon lamp seems to be complete on this Sonata. This does not have any braking or porting lines, just like Granger has been, just like Kona has been. I really like how the light dissipates as well. It's really warm and gradual as to how the lights shifts. One beauty of the seamless horizon lamp is that if you come over to the profile, thanks to the design, you are even seeing the blinkers on the profile as well. And the side repeater right here. And I think it's the first time we saw the end line right here and it's actually embedded so it, it has the indentation and this badge or the plaque is actually inside the car sitting right here this garnish alone you know that is not a cheap part but it looks absolutely gorgeous i just have things to go on and on flag type side mirror i've been mentioning this so many times on my review and channel but the side mirror has i'm sorry i shouldn't really be touching it i guess so it's not fingerprint proof just yet a just good old piano black probably because it's not as bad as this when it comes to the interior piano black but since given this is the exterior probably Hyundai had to compensate between the fingerprint resist versus being durable flag type side mirror that has been moved down to the body of the car as you can see where it was the originally in this position we actually have this much of space 
from the cabin and that takes away extra blind spot you would have had otherwise right over here and so what are some cons the only con is that it's more expensive so other than that that is always a plus and that is something that i always have been complimenting ever since i first saw it on from the genesis gv80 and we are now finally seeing this on sonata as well brilliant job and look at this two-toned finish and detail as well love it love it love it this being end line of course the red stitches here and there throughout all self-explanatory buttons oh look at the door handle something that i haven't seen before it comes with the bose premium sound system two memory seats and at least 12 way of lumbar support and seat adjustments and i don't even have to sit inside but it has the alcantara seats a legitimate alcantara from the company alcantara and hyundai has now teamed up with the Alcantara team and they are using a legit a legit Alcantara I saw that on Kona inline and they had the little bit of uh, Alcantara tag right here so I mean I shouldn't be so certain but I'm pretty sure it is so you see the inline batch logo engraved right there with the red stitch that is the color of the ends and this I mentioned on Kona electric just in my previous video but unlike Kona Electric, this four dots, this is the Morse code for letter H of Hyundai. And that one is not pixels, i.e. it's not squares, but rather it's circles. It's a good old pattern that we saw on all other latest Hyundai cars. HDA related buttons, self-explanatory, and phone buttons right there, which you'll get used to it in a heartbeat if you have been driving Hyundai Motor Group car. And right here, it gets the fingerprint sensors so you can actually control the vehicle without a key using the fingerprint only that tech was first introduced on genesis gv60 and now we get it on sonata as well what an upgrade and what gv60 only has been there in the market for less than two years i mean i just can't wait to see what we have for the next future cars the dual screen monitor with the 12.3 inch monitors and pretty sure this is backed up with the ota service seamless horizon lamp design aspect q kind of continues throughout the cabin as well with the ambient lights and the vents this red accent it always has been the end line thing and well it's getting bigger and bigger to be honest but when i first saw it on kona inline the turbine looking the button in the middle the controller in the middle the circular one that portion was slightly red but now the entire horizontal lamp and line is now red which i absolutely love black on red red on black that just can never get wrong red calipers too but we'll get that one day perhaps right let me quickly show you the second row seat as well nothing out of the ordinary to be honest but i'll have more chance to get a closer look of this car momentarily so i think i'll wrap up the video here just real quick just like that oh my god i did not even show you the rear view Wow, this is, the, oh, wow. I am genuinely surprised by the design. This is really bold. This is nothing like what we have seen from Sonata thus far. I mean, it really drops down quickly as we go towards the end, towards the back of this car. I mean, you see this design and it's an, even this some um, kind of a vortex generator or a diffuser kind of a design that we saw from before. The end line spoiler stretched out to here and I'm thinking it's pretty much the same thing on this end line as well. I'll find out with the regular model right there momentarily. But on the photos, I thought nothing much has changed because this is the design that we saw, the design that we had on the very last model before this one. But it looks completely, completely different in person. I don't know what exactly. I probably need a car back to back, but I have a feeling that how quickly the rear drops and the edges are cut in so vertical lines like so is what makes the difference. This looks very completely different. I mean, as much as the front look has changed, but that is a Hyundai look with the seamless horizon lap as we all know, right? Oh my God, this is the design that I have seen on the predecessor or the model right before this one but it really looks different, trust me. I was never actually surprised 
this much ever uh, given past few months but I'm really genuinely surprised by the design of the Sonata and honestly I don't know if I'm saying it that it's uh, much better per se but I uh, this is this is really progressive design on Hyundai's end and Sonata and I really admire and value their new take on such so this is what the trunk compartment looks like and as you just saw it comes with the power tailgate just like that and it is so quiet you see it's so quiet and Hyundai emblem it's all inside with the clear plastic right here so the turn signal but it has a little bit of indentation here with the tail light where the tail light lights up and that is a spoiler sonata written right here with the emblem but once again let me open up a trunk it opens up just so smooth and so quiet inside the cabin i mean it's just a good typical sedan trunk i should say and you can of course fold both of the seats but you'll have that much of the portion left out time permitting i'll cover more of these in showrooms and also test drive this car soon in may so stay tuned for that that's it for today going over sonata i'm sorry i haven't had the chance to go over it in super super detail but i really am running out of time and i really have an important car to catch which is kia EV9. I covered it for the first time with fully charged before but I'm covering it myself and I think I only have less than 10 minutes left so let me quickly go and walk you through over there and I'll see you in that video as well. Don't forget to come back for my channel for the test drive on this 2024 Hyundai Sonata facelift. It's not a full change let me tell you that again. Don't forget to come back for that and subscribe to my channel if you like today's video. I'll see you there. Bye bye. And probably, given the chance, I gotta show you the engine bay too. Specs and numbers, once again, I'll include it in the video. And also, as I have always been doing, I'll also include it in the description below. So it has the Smart Stream Turbo GDI. So 1.6, I assume. It's been one of their best engines in the market thus far. Now that I have the car right here, I actually wanna light it up. I actually want to light it up and see what the light operations and lights look like and I don't think I am seeing any of that. What about the tail lights? Okay, so tail lights are on. This is what the tail lights looks like. Ah, uh, one of a kind. The rear, I mean, this is so bold. So the black portion of the spoiler that we saw on the end line, it's not end line exclusive, but a uh, regular Sonata also gets that. So regular Sonata wheel design. Okay, so you get the body color masked handle unlike the N-Line model right there. So the drive mode, auto hold, and also the armrest here. I'm showing you real quick in different design patterns on the wheels too. Excuse me, the seats too. I don't think it's going to light up. This is the best I can do. All right, so I'll capture that momentarily. I should get some B-rolls and footage on that. So I'll cover and show you that on that video. So that really is it for today. Bye-bye.